right, today, hi, I'm Jacob Adams. Mr. Burr Garcia. Today we decided to have our daily bro session at the park. At the park. You know, get a change the scene a little bit. Definitely. We just got back from the mall, kind of, uh, we went for business purposes, really. Uh, you know, making sure that the economy is moving in, and, and get a feedback on what exactly is going on out there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Chris? Yeah, it was really good. Mm -hmm. As far as we got to see how society is kind of going right now. Yeah. A big, a big update on society. Here's your update. Uh, you know, you don't really hear this from, you, this is the kind of stuff you got to go see for yourself. Ask the people in the trenches, you know. Uh, CNN, they're not, they're, oh, they're doing this. And this is the real, the real tea. So, you know, I was catch, checking out at the mall, you know, getting a little deal. They had some good deals, right? They did have some really good deals. I got a cologne there for 34 bucks. That's a, you maybe original, a little package set. You usually 100 bucks or more. Got it for 34, so it's a good deal. Yeah. Uh, check out for something like that. Go to Macy's, the backstage one. It's almost like a TJ Maxx, but Macy's. Yeah. Uh, anyway, nice deal. I thought, hey, why not? Shampoo, conditioner. Duffel bag, yeah, everything. everything. Uh, cologne. So it was the English laundry one. Anyway, now, so there we were cashing out, right? Mm -hmm. And I say, so tell me what's going on. Like, how's the traffic been here at the mall? So my theory, and I think Chris kind of agrees, that, you know, in an economy, in a large marketplace like the mall with top name brands, anything from Zara or, you know, fucking even Hollister. Not that we like Hollister, but Macy's. <laughs> no, nah, you know. You know <laughs> not that we like Hollister. Not that we like Hollister, but we still went there. Yeah, we went there to see what's up. <laughs> P see people see, you know, see people, see how they're engaging, see how they're spending, to get an idea of how, what, how, what the economy is headed for. And what she, the lady said, well, about two weeks ago was bumping like that. There was a yeah, lot of- Yeah, that was a shocker. Yeah, now it's actually now subsiding. Down. So that's a good from the trenches kind of report, right? Because this person is seeing every day the traffic, She's also at the cash register seeing, you know, money come in and out. Yeah. So this is a witness, you could say in the court of law, this would be a witness to what is occurring in a local economy. When I say something like that, what do you, have, what do you think about something like that, Chris? I think the economy right now, it's- No, about what, about the, the mall gives you a good indicator as to how, oh, okay. how money is traveling in that current region? Yeah, well, the mall, the mall is a good place to, to notice that definitely. It's uh, what I saw today. I mean, I thought it was actually picking up until the lady told us that it was going down. But I mean, that's the most people I've seen in the place. I haven't seen that many people in a. It wasn't packed, right? No, it wasn't packed, but it, it was more than, you know, what we're used to lately. Yeah, for over two months, you know, being stuck at home. Yeah. You know, so it was good to see that. It kind of, it kind of did pick up my my motivation a bit as far as to get back on on the grind. Saw some, you know, I just saw I saw people. It really, and I saw for me it was a lot more people than the usual. So it kind of helped me at least my mind. You know, a little bit more. Yeah, because in a in a, in everyday world, I mean, we were going from we went from do your job, you know, make deals, do something productive to stay home, don't do anything. Yeah. For two months. Stay home and just make sure you go nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. So do we to get, you know, for the economy to open back up where everybody's on their game again, it's going to take a lot of trust that we're not going to shut down. It's going to take also, I think people need to, they have to look at themselves and say, well, what do you really want to do now? Because if you go back to what you were doing without any thought, it's like, mm, did you really take these two months to evaluate? Right? Like. Do you re did you even think about what you wanted to do, or you just? I, I feel like it affected people though, as far as like the way of thinking, you know. You know, I mean, as, as we saw, the, like for example, the girl that was like, "Hey, you got to put on your mask." Like, some people, I feel like they just a little bit more bitter, and some people, you know, it didn't affect them as much. Oh, like some, yeah. I, I don't, I didn't wear. You know, I only wore my mask at the mall where they said you have to. Yeah. And I, like in other words, I'll play ball. Like I, I like I always wear it to the grocery store because for some reason I don't like looks at the grocery store because that place feels like kind of like my home or I'm like oh, okay, fine at the grocery store I don't want to be the guy getting looks. But at the mall I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. For some reason at the mall I'm like I don't really care if you look at me. It's not a big deal. No, yeah. That's weird, right? How come? I, I, honestly, it's just like everybody still has a mask on, man. <laughs> yeah. You know I couldn't find people without a mask. 
I wanted to take mine off, but then I just couldn't find nobody without a mask. But I mean, it's just like right now, I think it's, uh, people are still kind of a little bit, I guess, probably, not worried, oh yeah, worried, but also like, they're just concerned and trying, you know, I think they were just locked up for a while, we were all locked up for a while, and a lot of us are really just, you know, trying to just make sure we don't get the whole deadly bad boy corona, you know? Everybody just wants to play safe ball. There has been a little bit of a spike. Uh, since we reopened, you know, we're seeing an influx like the one from seven to now there are days where we're averaging, uh, you know, 10 or 11 new cases. So it's not headed downwards. So there is reason to believe based on the new, these numbers that potentially the reopening is increasing spikes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's like the, the beach, for example, I know there was a spike there. Oh, I just saw the news. CNN, your, your favorite sarcasm, of course, there. But, um, you think not like it. Well, they say CNN is fake news. Well, it's because they, all they do is report bad news. Mm. <laughs> like, I've been seeing it lately, and I don't see them ever say nothing kind of that's going to motivate me. <laughs> it's just bad, bad, and worse. <laughs> With yeah, CNN. you don't really want to watch CNN, bro. No? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, uh, look, I look, just, here's, the, here's some real shit for everybody to consider. And this is real. This is real shit. The most that you're going to have of control in your life is how you, what you eat, what you believe, you know, how you treat others, how you treat yourself, the career you choose to a certain degree. Those are things you can control. But in reality, in modern life, you cannot control what the president does what the people in power do and what they do does affect you so to a certain degree watching the news is pointless to a degree because there's a certain even if you know they're doing something like okay think about everything you've ever heard in the news that's negative like whether it was the bombing in syria or fucking uh, you know obama gate everything you can only in a way stand back and watch yeah like like there's not that you, it, it, even if your opinion is against it there's you can only like have the opinion in a way the opinion right? yeah yeah and maybe make a post like this or and hopefully influence people that also think your way but really you you can't do too much like okay coronavirus came the, the authority shut down the world i work at a gym from training people, it's not like I could be like, no, no, you're not gonna shut down my place. No, we we had to shut down. Yeah, that's true. So in other words, to a certain degree, the powers that be have have control over your life. And that that truth, that reality right there, what I just said, that is sort of the reason men have depression. That is why we have anxiety and neuroses and people on Zoloft and stuff, because on a deep level, on the very deepest level, man is not in control of the simple things in life. He's not in control of his destiny, simply put. But, here's the but, but he is in a way safer. You know, we're less likely to die of gunshots. We're less likely to die of a disease. We're less likely to die of being bitten by a tiger, eaten by a tiger. Yeah, so our society is safer, but we have less control over it. It's more managed by powers that be. And that dissonance is what causes deep depressions. What's your thoughts on that one, man? Well, that's true, man. Well, I mean, although some people say that because of all this, now there's actually more jacking and more, uh, more you know, five-finger discounts, right? But other than that, yeah, everything else that you said, that should be on point as far as, uh, you know, like he said, disease, you know, something like getting attacked by an animal because we're not going out there no more. We're staying indoors a lot more, so we're avoiding all these troubles. But another thing I was really thinking about today when I saw it at the mall was I feel like it really did affect really intensely. Like, I just never, I remember literally a week before all this started going hardcore, I remember, uh, I wanted to wear a mask because I was trying, I had gotten sick and I didn't want to get nobody sick, but I remember I was like, I don't want to get looks wearing a mask and now it's like, if you don't wear a mask, you get looks. Everybody wears a mask and it just, I just feel like it really changed the way we're now living and going about things, you know? 
it's 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 crazy. I didn't think I didn't. But yeah, it definitely has changed a lot, and I really think that it's just shocking to see everybody, you know, for example, wearing a mask and everybody, you know, some. As far as the six feet, I didn't really see that much. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, everybody wearing a mask. It's just crazy. I never thought. I just feel like really, like now it's hitting me that the corona really, really has changed the way we're living right now. It's crazy. And I'm part of it. Like, you know, it's supposed to happen once every, what, 50 years? Supposed to happen like that? mm. That's what I heard. You know what's interesting? I was going through a book. Um, I forget the name of the doctor. Yeah. Let me give you the name of the book, man. And he was talking about, you know, anti-aging and stuff like that. And we are actually projected to, we're projected to be able to live to maybe, his name is, the name of the book is Lifespan by David A. Sinclair, PhD. So he's a better guy, right? <laughs> so this guy, you know, he wrote a book and he goes into everything like using metformin, you know, that thing that helps insulin and stuff. Remember what we were talking about insulin? Uh, yeah, yeah. He goes into using metformin to reduce aging. You know, he goes into all kinds of stuff and technology coming up, you know, how we're going to be able to use, you know, genetic modifications in the future to live to maybe 100, 125, maybe one day 200 years. And that's coming. This, this is on its way. And this, I was, I'm listening to this book maybe December, January, you know, this year, in that, in that era, a, a, epoch, right? And so he says, yeah, that as much as this is true, that we are getting the technology to live longer lives, he says, what one thing we are not prepared for is maybe a disease or something that can wipe us out. And that was before the whole coronavirus thing hit. Uh. So it's interesting that like as much as our technology is advancing for us to age longer, have longer lifespans and reduce aging, we don't necessarily have stuff to prepare us against some crazy disease or earthquakes. Like that stuff is still on the table of, of like potential big risks. I mean, there's things that you just, it's nature, you know? Uh, something else in the news that came up was the whole thing of um, remember we were talking about the black guy that got killed by the police officer oh yes I, I know when I saw that I was a little bit shocked but... Who? 50 Cent posted about it let me see I mean I gotta have to it's crazy how that happened some cops can take advantage of their power some I don't know where, would you know the name of the guy? Uh, no, I just, I just, I saw the video. I think it's the guy's name. I'll get it. Donald Trump also posted about it. So let me see. What did he say about it? <laughs> what did he say about that situation? What did Donald say? I'm feeling Donald say. Mm, he said. I hope he agreed that it was messed up. At, at my request. The FBI and the Department of Justice are already well into the investigation as the very sad and tragic death in Minnesota of George Floyd. His name is George Floyd. I have asked for this investigation to be ex expedited and greatly appreciate all the work done by the local. Okay, so uh, this this warrants discussion, I think, because okay, so here we have George Floyd, which I told Chris we were talking in private earlier about it today like on the way to the mall. Look, those cops do deserve to be not only fired likely likely jail time for sure and maybe even long-term jail tense uh jail sentences like 20 plus years maybe 30 maybe life okay he took a lot. yeah because we don't know the full story so we can't conclude it I, can you conclude it fully no yeah i know what you mean like I, we, yeah it looked racism but i mean at the same time like whatever he was told he still kind of jumped the gun the cop yeah yeah because i mean he should have had more self-control yeah he could have taken the guy in like, he had, at some point, the guy is asking for breath, so at that point, he chose to dis disregard that, and the guy's dead, so I do think the guy deserves jail. Those cops deserve, oh, yeah. the firing is not much of a punishment, personally. I don't think. Oh, they, 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 got, they just got fired so far. But wow. the FBI is looking for more evidence, so the FBI is on it. And, and supposedly Donald Trump has put them as a priority, like, I need answers as to this. So that's a very that's good, good thing. That's a very good that's thing good. that the president did. Very yeah, good thing. Definitely. Um, one thing that worries me about this whole thing is we don't know, I don't know, is 
here we are, it's getting closer and closer to November in election year. And the left is consistently bringing up racism, racism, racism. As soon as, do I think this is racism? Yes, I do. I do think this, there was racism involved on some level from these cops. So that's, that's established, okay? What, what I think though is the left is so adamant about placing, placing racism on Donald Trump that number one, if Donald Trump has put this as a priority to get the FBI, I don't think Trump had anything to do with this, and I don't think those cops had anything to do with Trump and everything. If anything, I would suspect more that those cops may have been bought by the by the left and said, hey, look, you know, we want you to create a scene. We want you to create death. Here's money, here's something, create something racist to stir people up. Because this is dead, it didn't just turn into racist. The, the people from that place, I don't know where it's from. Is it Michigan? I forget where it's from. They got, well, they're pretty pissed off. Is it Mar Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland? I don't know where it is, but the people from, they're running into Target and stealing shit. They're li all, all, all the black people are literally going, they went into a Target and started taking everything. Yeah, as, as, a way of, as a way of like, yeah, as a way of like rebellion. So, I mean, so I that cop really did a big mistake. As soon as all I'm, look, my my position is this: I do think I can't guarantee it, but it's getting close to an election year. I suspect uh, some sort of underhanded thing here, like something. How did this? How can this happens always close to elections? Yeah, I don't think it's just racism. I think it's racism plus. Something, something somebody's getting paid off to do something to create a stir because it's all it's it happens to all be publicized it's all footage for us to see yeah you know it, it's always something it's always How did some, get, somebody recorded him or was it like on the camera i don't remember okay someone recorded him on like uh, a phone camera and yeah, that's a little iffy there so yeah we have the whole we have we have we have the guy dying on video everyone's seen it no, yeah, I remember that. That's what I was saying. Like, I actually thought maybe it was from a store or something, you know? I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know where it's from, but I think at that angle, like, it was a shot like this. It wasn't a shot like upward, a, like, upward. yeah, it wasn't an upward shot. It was a, a straight shot. Correct. Yeah. So that has to be a phone. Yeah. That's crazy, man. And what did it, what did it, you know, does that make sense though? Like, they're, okay, you may disagree and that's fine. I'm only saying that it's just funny to me or weird to me that. There's, the media keeps spinning this racism agenda on Trump. Racist, racist, racist. That's the thing. Like They try to brainwash everybody that he's racist, right? Racist, racist. Have you heard that before? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, close to an election year, a racist case comes up. Like, yes, that is clearly... Everybody agrees. Trump agrees. Everybody agrees that was racist. But it's like they're trying to stir up the flames of racism. You know what I mean? Do like, so is, is, go, it, is it just a chance? Go against Trump? Yeah, I think so. Right. I think it's like to stir up the the fire, you know what I mean? Yeah. To make it like, like look what happened. Look, Trump's yeah, yeah. Like, and so here we have Corona, and they, and everybody's trying to make Corona that like Trump acted too soon, too late. So it's just it's, it's an election year, and everybody, and here we are at the helm of a of a tension, you tension, can see tension. Pop in the back, right? You know, <laughs> and let's not let's not forget this is the same year that Kobe Bryant died. Kobe Bryant, multimillionaire. Legend. We were talking about what makes a legend. He's a legend. Yeah. Okay. So Kobe Bryant is a legend. Dies this January. Here, oh. coronavirus. Yeah. And it's like the shit. So it's barely. What are we? Barely May. Don't forget about the kill. Okay. Partner. Okay. Well, <laughs> so this is my projection. I'm. Too. I'm gonna state it now. What? It's May. I'm stating it now. It's like a. It's like a movie. Like, you know when you see the Avengers or anything like that? It just keeps getting more and more epic battle scenes. Yeah. I think that's what we're witnessing. We have Kobe Bryant's death. We have coronavirus. And now we have this George Boyd, right? George Floyd, I think. We have George Floyd, okay? It's just, they're just heating up. I think from here to November, which is six months, we're gonna see a strong escalation of more drama all leading to a tension, a polarization of left and right of, you know, and that's where you have to be very careful is if you're allowing, if you're allowing these tensions to create, oh, now I'm not gonna vote for Trump or something. Cause it's like, Trump didn't do any of that shit. That's something that is happening and, but they're trying to pin it on Trump. They're, they're, they do stuff to try to pin on him. 
I don't think they should put it out, Trump. I think, that, I think the cop either, I mean, like I said, they're investigating it, I know. I think the cop in that situation, maybe just... Those cops know. are wrong, they're wrong. Yeah, no, of course they're wrong. I think what, I think what happened is they were just... He was abusing his power, and he probably stepped over the limit of what he was doing. Like, as in, like, he probably wanted to hurt the guy, and he freaking killed the guy. You think it was that simple? No, I just mean, a guy. It's just, a just, just, just a, a possibility. Yeah, of course it's a possibility. It's a possibility. In, in other words, but I, the reason I don't think it's that simple is you're being recorded. You're a cop, and you know you're the guy's right there, and your your knees on top of him, and you're like this. You're telling me. Did he know he was being recorded? How could you not if someone's worse? There's uh, a camera. I don't know if he was probably on the guy. Yeah, you I haven't, saw a video once you haven't seen the footage? footage? You haven't seen the footage? Okay. Watch. So you can see exactly. No, I saw it, but I didn't like pay attention to hardcore detail. I saw the guy was asking for him to let him go, right? He's saying. Look at that. He's looking right into the camera. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look. So he kills this guy like that. Right in front of. Look at that. Right in front of the camera, you could yeah, zoom yeah, in. That was a little bit intense. Yeah. Okay, so you're telling me that this guy accidentally killed him or no, like this? Yeah. Okay, for sure they need to investigate. That. Right, right. <laughs> the guy's looking. So that's yeah, what I'm saying. So you know, on some level, if you're doing that, I sense a bigger agenda. You can't tell me. You can't okay. tell me your camera's recording you. 